Hello, it's Amigos. Yes, it's the very John. We're back with another episode of Major Minor Mobile Edition. I really don't remember where we last left off, so let's see how it goes. Meanwhile, hmm, guess I better make myself comfortable. Might be living here for a while now. I should probably go and meet with Dais. Her schedule will be needing adjusting. Shock and Rocker, too, for that matter. But I hate their constant fighting. Worse than an old married couple. Dash will have to ease into a new role. It's going to be a bit overwhelmed for her. Hopefully I can make it easy for her. I don't want her getting uncomfortable. I should prob- I didn't see you there. Almost ran into you. Watch where you're going, alright? Oh, trust me. I was. And you're just the man I was looking for. Wait, you were looking for me? Think you have me confused, lady. You know, we're so important. Not now. Don't leave me waiting, Rook. I've been looking everywhere for you. There's no need to be rude about this. I have prior engagements. However, would you like an appointment? I'm open to rescheduling this. Just let me know what time you're free. An appointment, hmm? I can work with that. You know the press conference room? Yeah, that's like my second home. Since you're out of flair for the dramatic, holds a conference for almost everything. Would you be able to meet there later? I'm asking you to come alone, of course. Uh-oh. What is the nature of this appointment? Business, of course. You're Sinja's assistant, right? He's hard to reach, so I'll take you. You have to be a little less vague. Do you really not know who I am? This is the Maxine. The one who's made the weaponry that's keeping you in this building. How do you not know? I'm not big on the tabloid, sorry. I have to take that as a compliment. Either way, call me Maxine Armstrong. I'm the CEO of Armstrong Incorporated. Oh, so that's who you are. He kept all of your dealings private. That's one thing I hate most, hiding. I always go for transparency. Withholding information is horrible. You'll have to excuse my lack of joy. Can't expect everybody to bow before you. I'm not exactly a fan of your work, Max. Well, wow. you're just as cocky as she said. Shay. Oops. I've said too much. The rest can wait for our appointment. How does 7 o'clock sound to you, Rook? I'm free. <laughs> and the press room is good? As good as any other, I suppose. Great. I'll see you then. And remember, come alone, Rook. Yeah, whatever. I have stuff to do. Yes, of course you do. Always a busy man. By all means, enjoy what time you have left. Oh, 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 oh. What did Rio do to you, Max? What did he do? In the present. You should slow down on the caffeine. I heard it's not good for you, Shock. And I mean this as a friend. Six energy drinks in one day? I haven't had much sleep. I'm drinking them to stay awake. Rook robbed me of the rest, my rest last night. Couldn't you just take a nap then? There's not much to be done today. I'd say it's a right off. Get some rest. I can't. What do you mean? I tried earlier, and it's my dreams. They haven't caught up to reality yet. He's still in there. You know what I mean? Oh. That might take a while, Chuck. You'll need to sleep sometime soon. Those drinks can't keep you up that long. You don't know what it's like. Sure I do. I just cope differently. We all handle death in different ways. Some people can't even be harmful with it. Coping. That's what you think this is? When I look at the brand you're drinking, I have to say yes. The contest is over. There's no need to drink that mini shop. 
I don't know what you're hoping to find. There won't be anything inside those cans. You might have to look elsewhere, Shuck. You're reading into this too much. It's not like I drink these to honor him. It doesn't work that way for me, remember? Funny you would jump to that conclusion. I didn't mention anything of the sort. Ooh. You might not realize what you're doing. Sometimes your body just does it automatically. It was largely the same for me, Chuck. Ever wonder why I carry a bass guitar? You know for the fact that I can't play one. You mean? Yes, it's a memento. But it's more permanent than a pop star. It'll last forever, given the right care. You might need to change your thinking. I'm not stupid, Chuck. And you know that. You're only pretending to be carefree. You need to cope, not push it aside. I mean, he's right, Shock. He really is. You said it could last forever. Yes, with love and care, Shock. This will last as long as I want it to. It may even outlive me at this rate. You might be reading too much into this. I'm strong enough. I don't need a crutch. A memento would just flood me with memories. It might make you more intense at first. But eventually, you'll give it new meaning. The memento becomes yours, not theirs. I'm not sure I follow. You'll have to see for yourself, Shock. I'm not going to force anything on you. But at least tell me you'll consider it. And promise to lay off the pump star. I don't need you anxious and jittery. Fine. If you have any bad experiences, Call me, my tears, or anything in between. I'm your friend, Jacques. I'm here for you. I know you're strong enough to do this. Don't play the proud guy and go at it alone. That's the worst possible idea, man. It ensures that the problem never goes away. You bottle it up and eventually explode. We don't want any exploding happening here. Well, this time you're right. Thank you for the advice. No problem. You know, everyone says we fight a lot, but I always say we are really good friends. And I think we just proved that. Yeah. Anyways, I was just going to say, I have a meeting here in a little bit. You can go ahead. I'll stay backstage. Feel free to go and do whatever you want. Just don't try to leave the building. Wouldn't want to make Singe upset. Can't make any promises. I seem to make him angry at every turn. He's not the only one. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't, Chuck. They laugh and give wide smiles to one another. He slowly walks away, leaving Rocker behind. No one ever asked me to meet up with him, let alone someone as influential as her. I want to read something special. Continuing their prior conversation. Remember, Max, if you win, you can undo all the damage. You're not actually down for killing. You're just playing a part, fooling him. Take a deep, concentrated breath. Do not let the anxiety overtake you. None of this will be permanent. You can bring them back. Even her. Tokyo, huh? Can't say I've ever been there. Aside from Africa, I stayed in America. Another person of interest will arrive too. They are secondary to your objective. You must ensure that they stay alive. But everyone else on the tour must die. All of them? How many are there? I will give you a list. However, you have to wait before acting. The game doesn't start until the bells toll. And what exactly is this bell? The death of Clace, of course. Let me explain this in an easier manner. As I said, there's a special guest. I have to keep my eyes on them as well. So your death is happening close by. Other people are competing with you, Max. We need one large event to start this. Something that everyone will know of. I can think of nothing more fitting. The death of their figurehead star. I see. 
I will give you a specific date and time. It will be up to you to kill them then. After that, you have 24 hours. Alright, that makes perfect sense. Kill Clace, then kill the others. My mind just... Just blew out of my skull. It's lying on the ground trying to flop away from me. Bray, no! No, come back. Please come back to me. I need you so that the story makes sense to me. Please, Brian, come back. <laughs> I'll have 24 hours from that point. Yes. But you'll have time to practice. And lots of time to set things up, too. You can use your company as cover. Practice murder? Yes. I have the perfect opportunity. I'll give you free reign of Tokyo's people. But this is under one condition. The deaths must happen exactly at midnight. Now my brain just blew up. Now there's brain everywhere. <laughs> Not even in my skull. Just brain everywhere now. Oh! My... Gah! That seems rather specific. It benefits another venture of mine. I can't say much more than that, Max. I understand. This is an all or nothing game. If anyone is left alive, you lose. You must deliver death to all of them. Until you get close, you can practice. That, and formulate your entire plan. You have a world tour to infiltrate, but with the power to stop time, I don't see this as much of an issue. I'm looking forward to your results. Just make sure that the VIP stays alive. They are present, but not on the list. You can't afford to be reckless, Max. I am certain that you won't disappoint, especially given this generous time frame. I hope to see you stand in my place. Oh my Arceus. It's all coming in full circle little by little. The circle's being made more and more. The gears are turning because now I have no brain. So I just put some gears in my head and they're starting to turn a little bit with the squirrel. <laughs> I'll do my best. So about this list. Of course, take notes on your phone. You'll be using it a lot from now on. Gears, the gears are turning. Slowly, they're getting there. <laughs> the week of the tour arrival in Tokyo. Thanks for working with my schedule. I know you were quite eager, Max. It's nice to finally meet with you. Yes, of course. This is important to me. I ensured that my schedule is wide open. I didn't want any conflicts regarding time. Oh, you would say that about time, Max. You would. I'm glad it all worked out. So, may I ask what you wanted to say? I've never had someone so sad on a meeting. You must be very passionate about this. I guess you could use that word. Your employees called it stubborn. You must mean Rook. I assure you, he's harmless. You'll see if you run into him in person. He can be very rude in his emails, but honestly, that's what I need. He's succotent and on the ball. He weeds out those who would waste my time. He doesn't damage our public image. I'd say it's a win-win scenario, Max. I can see how he'd scare people away. You're lucky to have a man like him. Let's just hope he stays with the team. I read about his work in the past. How he ran away from the maid cafe. I hope he's a reliable as you say. I'm surprised you were able to learn that. He's usually very secretive about his past. I've seen him take down entire websites. I have my ways. I'm sure. But let's be more open. You didn't come here to talk about Rook. 
What are you after, Miss Armstrong? Don't say it like that, Singe. It makes me sound shallow. I want to protect your workforce. Our catalog grows even larger. I'm sure we can find something you'd like. Can't put a price on your loved ones. Or can we? Oh, so this is a sales pitch then, after all. I'm sorry, Max. I don't have time to waste for this. I'm a very busy man with places to be. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. A sales pitch means you're able to decline. It implies you have a choice in the matter. Excuse me? I already have my men arming the building. They'll be finished in a couple of hours. What? Oh, don't worry about it, Singe. We're using largely non-lethal methods. You know, chemical dispersion and stuff. There will only be a couple explosives. Sorry, but I had to take the initiative. That's how you build an empire, Singe. Max, 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 you sexy, sneaky thing. Okay, what? Whoa! Have your men back off immediately. Max, we are in foreign country. We don't have the permits or permission. Already taken care of, Singe. You seem to underestimate me. Oh boy. I want no part in this. I am uncomfortable housing weapons. I don't own this place. Please stop. I won't hesitate to call the police. I don't want to escalate this, Max. Back away from this peacefully. You're right. You don't own this place. Just a couple weeks ago, I bought it. It's property of Armstrong Incorporated. As of this moment, you're a trespasser. In clear violation of the law, Singe. How would that look on your record? Damn it, Max. If you weren't so sexy, damn it! You're bribing me. No, I haven't gotten to that part yet. Singe, if you don't let us arm this place, I'll have you charged for trespassing. But I paid for a lease. That's not how it works, Max. It's a legally binding contract. Any contract can be bought out. You just need the right amount of cash. It turns out, I have limitless supply. Do you still wish to contest this? Yes, I do. I was hoping it wouldn't come to that. Mac reaches out her pocket and takes out a photograph. Look at this. How did you get that? I kept it in my pocket at all times. You don't know what you're dealing with. Forces beyond your control are at play. You need to let me do this. And now. The person in this photograph. They mean the world to you. Yes. So. If the law won't make you cave. I'll have to get a little more personal. You lose someone dear to you instead. Home. Archeus. She is not joking. She wants to win this. Fucking hell. I demand your full cooperation, Singe. Or else I'll take things in my own hands. And in doing so, take your world away. She rips the photograph in half. No. Who are you? No one important. At least, not yet. I already went through your phone. I got your number, and a few others. Expect me to be in touch. It seems this tour may start with a bang. Fuck. Now we're getting into the juicy stuff. Meanwhile, so, I was right, Acheron was more right than Singe. Because Singe was being bribed. <laughs> oh my Arceus. I keep forgetting your voice, Eclair. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Move on, move on. Yeah, right. I can't even leave this place. How am I supposed to move on from anything? This has to be against some sort of law. I feel like I'm in a hostage or something. The cafe's losing lots of business, too. 
everyone will wonder why we're closed. I hope they don't think it's a repeat. Last time we almost closed for good. Look what happened, Eclair. A harmless break, you said. Yeah, right. Hey there. Is everything okay? Oh, hey. I just want to get out of here. I didn't realize I'd be stuck inside. I have places to be, you know? Yeah. I know the feeling. There's a lot of stuff I'd rather do. Sorry you had to get caught up in this. What brought you here in the first place? Well, I came to watch the first conference. I know a guy who works for Singe. I just wanted to see how he was doing. But I guess it's impossible now. It's probably best that I just move on. Move on? Yeah, it's definitely holding me back. In fact, it's gotten me into trouble. I feel dumb. It should be easy. I highly doubt you're dumb. Moving on isn't the easiest thing to do. It's something I'm trying to do as well. Call me Shock. Nice to meet you. You can call me Eclair. I own a maid cafe in Akihabara. In fact, I should be there right now. But I guess I'm trapped in here. With weapons I could go off any time. That's some great peace of mind, Shock. No idea what's going on through Singer's head. But none of this seems like a good idea. I hope he has something planned. You're not the only one who thinks that. Trust me, we're pretty much all opposed. But Singer's words are final around here. He's been a little paranoid lately. Ever since... Well, you probably know. Yeah, I can tell. So what do you recommend I do? Since I can't leave, I mean. Just have to pass the time, I guess. Keep your mind occupied for now. That's what I've been doing. This place does a lot of cool things. There's a neat diner on the main floor. There's a great water park, too. You can even go and get a massage. I guess this place has it all. Too much of my mind to enjoy that. I never really liked the water. Seems like someone else might enjoy that. Oh. That's too bad. Let me know if you change your mind. I doubt it would help my current issue. You mentioned moving on, too. What's your situation? Well, Clay's was my best friend. Oh. I didn't mean to. I'm terribly sorry for bringing it up. Please forgive me, Shark. Trust me. It's fine. I heard it's good to talk about this stuff. Gotta let everything out, you know? Yeah. I suppose. Well, you didn't object to the diner. Want me to show you around the place? There's a lot of stuff you can find. I heard there are um, rice is to die for. And you could tell me about yourself. Sure. What the heck? Not like there's anything else to do. And arm rice is my weakness, after all. You're a nice guy, Shark. I hope your situation gets better. Losing a friend is never easy. Perhaps I can give you some advice. I went through the same thing a while back. That sounds great. Just follow me, Claire. You sure is taking her his sweet time. She seemed like a punctual type. I wonder what's keeping her. If she doesn't make it, I'm leaving. I could spend my time much better. I don't like standing around. He starts to walk away. Hello, Rocker. Sorry I'm a little late. I have a lot on my agenda today. Oh, hey there. It's okay. I know what it's like to be busy. Thankfully, I have lots of free time right now. Sorry for almost bumping into you. I didn't see you there. There's been a lot on my mind lately. Yeah, I heard what happened, Rocker. This whole enterprise was thrown from a loop. But I heard the news Singe broke earlier. He plans to get you back on your feet. Daz is a fine replacement in my opinion. I agree. She's very talented. We're not close, but that'll change. We have to get along if we're touring. Of course. The closer you are, the better on stage chemistry is. That's how it works, right? Like yourself in shock. You could say that, yeah. A lot of people fake their on stage chemistry in this world. Many bands just end up hating each other. And I guess when you get along, it shows in the way you perform. People feel the connection too, and get more involved. That sounds right. You're pretty good at this stuff, Max. Thank you, Rocker. Max fidgets awkwardly, rubbing the rope on her arm. So can I ask why you wanted to meet me? Wait, why is there a rope on her arm? 
I'm very confused why that's there. Oh boy. Of course. Well, we're all stuck here. I thought I would get to know everybody. But there is another reason. I have a list of very important people. And you're exactly at the top of it. Wait, like an award ceremony? I haven't been nominated in a long time. Rocker? Run! No, not an award ceremony. But it's definitely an exclusive list. It numbers a very few. That sounds pretty cool. You think I can take a look at it? Run! Absolutely. Be my guest. Max hands Rocker a piece of paper. As he reads it, she fiddles with the rope once more. Rocker! Jacques! Rook! Keela! Singe! Keela! In Inumi! Ekaron! Dez! Klaes! Wait. Klaes is at the bottom of the list. Why is Rocker at top? Why did Klaes die first? And why is Keela on there? Jade! Well, we're, we're all here! Save for Taylor, of course. I noticed one of the names is scratched out. What happened to be the previous guard? Acheron was a rather late addition, yeah. So what do you think about the list? It's a list of everybody here. I mean, all of us in the building. I can't think of anything else, eh? Well, you'd be absolutely right. It's a list of those under this roof. Glad to know that it's correct. Oh, you didn't make these yourself? No, I didn't. Someone made it for me. Someone with way more power than I have. I just took notes while he spoke. Nice! So who made it? His name is Ryo. And he would very much like to meet you. He's waiting, if you have time. Sure, this is really cool. I don't have much to do right now. Oh, fuck. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Rocker. Rocker, this is a terrible thing. When a pretty girl, any type of pretty girl, asks you to follow her and do stuff, this, that's not that's not a good sign if you're I'm not saying you're ugly, but just saying pretty girls don't usually do this type of stuff. Oh boy. Oh rocker. Sure thing, just follow my lead. Max removes the rope from her arm. Gripping it tightly, she approaches Rocker. Fuck. And that's where I'm gonna end off this video. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll catch you on the next one. It's getting Tense. Whew. I still love you, baby.